how to turn any fraction into a percentage. It's easy to make a percentage from some fractions, when you can make an equivalent with a denominator of 100, as in these examples. But what if we had 3 eighths and had to show that as a percentage? There's no way to work on 3 eighths to make a denominator of 100. We need a different approach, and you can handle this one too. First, we have to show it as a decimal, and from there, we make the percentage. Remember, any fraction can be read as numerator divided by denominator. We want 3 divided by 8. I'll need a decimal point and some zeros here. 8 into 3, 0. 8 into 30, 3 eighths of 24, remainder 6. 8 into 60, 7 eighths of 56, remainder 4. 8 into 40, 5. 0 0.375, less than half, looks good. And of course, if you're allowed a calculator, that just makes things faster. So now we've got a decimal value, we make a percentage from that. We just multiply it by 100. 0 0.375 becomes 37.5%. You can see why our first step into percentages was all that practice turning a fraction into a decimal and a percent amount. This is a skill you really need in your math toolkit. If you're lucky, your teacher will get you practicing this regularly. You could have a test with 22 questions and let's say you get 19 right. The teacher says, give me your test results as a percentage. You pull out your calculator and confidently go 19 divided by 22. 0 0.8636 recurring. Well, we just want two decimal figures. The third figure tells us what to do. It's a three, so no rounding up here. 19 over 22 is the same as 0 0.86. That means 86 hundredths, and that is equal to 86%. Nice. Let's do a few more now with a calculator so you'll get into the swing of it. 5 over 9. 5 divided by 9. 0 0.5 recurring. You might think this would be 55%, but it isn't. The third figure is a 5, so we're rounding up to 0 0.56. As a fraction, that's 56 hundredths, and of course, that is 56%. 11 fifteenths. 11 divided by 15. 0 0.73 recurring. The third figure is a 3, so we keep our 0 0.73. No rounding up. That's 73 hundredths, and that is the same as 73%. Last one, 3 sevenths. 3 divided by 7. 0 0.428 is the part we're interested in. The 8 tells us we round up to 0 0.43. 43 hundredths, and that is of course 43%. See, you can handle this. You need notes on this in your math book, and then it's time to practice. And I've got some ready for you at letsdomath.ca in the percentages section. See you soon for the next step on the path to mastering percentages on Let's Do Math.